speak, I have matters to attend to in the past. Yes, my king. I... I am pregnant. For who? For you. Are you joking? Anyway, if you're pregnant as you say, go to your grandmother and tell her to give you one of those herbal medicines to flush out whatever you have in your system. Again, let today be the first and the last she will ever come to the palace uninvited. If you ever come here uninvited, you will regret. Have I made myself clear? My king. Yes, no problem. What is it? My king. Yes. The queen is in pain. She is dying and demands to see you, my king. Child, and you will not kill yourself. Then why have the gods chosen me for disgrace and cruel treatment? Why me? The gods are wise. They do not punish their subjects without reason. Did you say for no reason? Then what's my offense? Why is it taking them too long to, to make my offense known to me? Huh? We have not offended the gods, so they will have no reason to punish us. Okay. <sighs> Grandmother, I'm confused. I'm confused. I don't know what next to do. I don't know what next to do. You don't have to be confused, my daughter. Wipe your tears. The king will surely come back. No, are you sure? Trust me. Greetings. You're welcome. Palace guard. May I help you? The king demands to see you. The queen is bleeding. Bleeding? I'm coming. Your Majesty, she's here. Come. Your Majesty. 
please, come. The queen is bleeding. What can you do? May I see her alone? Please. my husband so I had it with him last night gave you prior to your pregnancy was very powerful. Powerful enough to stop a child from coming out prematurely until you're ready to deliver the baby. Have I lost my baby through bleeding? I don't know. Hey. I need to check. Hey. the next seven days. Boss, my king. I will make this simple. You are my in-law. The elder brother to the queen, to be precise. A respected elder in my cabinet. And one to whom the gods have blessed with outstanding wisdom. What advice? Does my king seek of me? I have just received words from a friend of mine, a king from another kingdom. He has been married to his wife for 
more than 15 years. The union has produced two children, but unfortunately, the children die every second AK market of their birth. In frustration, my friend impregnated a girl from the same community, but unknown to anyone. Now this my friend seeks my advice. Remember, he loves his wife very much. Every king needs an heir, legitimately or illegitimately. What matters is the blood relationship between the king and the child. If that your friend is certain that the unborn baby is his, he should go and marry the girl before everybody got to know about it. Besides, every king is entitled to as many wives as he wishes to marry. I know I can always count on you. You're a man of great wisdom. That king is me. You will be in charge of our marriage to Olamma, the granddaughter of Ekemma, the herbalist. You're my brother. You are my flesh. So I expected you to oppose the king's suggestion of getting a second wife. I expected you to look into his eyes and tell him, man to man, that it is wrong to get a second wife when the queen is still alive and active. What the king wants, he gets. What? Remember, I am a man under authority and must do exactly as my superior has said. Even when it means doing something that will ruin your, your, your younger sisters have joy, happiness and family. Is that what you're telling me? What the king asked me to do has no bad effect on your happiness, joy and family. Hey, remember, he is the king and he is entitled to as many wives as he desires. Oh. <sighs> Majesty, I have inquired about the young lady. I'm listening. First, she is a freeborn. She only had an affair with Eze, the only child of Let Mazi Akaliro. Eze is also let. Since then, she's never had any affair with any person, which explains that you are the second person to enjoy her womanhood. <laughs> her parents are dead. The granddaughter of a Kemma, the female herbalist. Hmm. What do you advise? My king should go ahead with the marriage. The girl in question has a clean record. Above all, she is beautiful. <laughs> Make it happen. At once, Your Majesty. From all you've said, you have no good reason for your intention of taking a second wife. You started it all. So you just wait and let it play out. Do not blame me for the lack of control over your manhood. I hope you don't intend to insult me. Far from it. But I'm of the opinion that you drop this your idea of taking a second wife. I'll make it up to you. I wish I could. But it's too late. What do you mean by it is too late? The girl is pregnant for me. 
I came to see you because of your granddaughter. Well, my queen, I hope all is well. All is not well, Ikema. Ask this loose girl you call your granddaughter to tell you how she got pregnant for the king. Pregnant? Yes. F -f for the king? That means you're not even aware she's pregnant. Oh, Alama, tell the queen that it's not you. she's mistaking you for someone else. Tell her! It is true. You mean the the king went there? Please, I'm sorry. I am very, very sorry. It was not intentional. It is the There's only one way for you to prove that you're truly sorry. I will do anything you want, anything you want, I will do. Fine. The arrangement for your bread prize has been concluded. I want you to run away from this community. Today or tomorrow. Trust me, I'll pretend as if nothing has happened. My queen, but if, if she runs... Hey, Kimma! I want you to stay out of this. I don't want her to bring problem between you and I. Did you know that was exactly what I wanted you to do? I didn't know. I just felt it was the right thing to do. I was looking at you and all of a sudden, the surprise on your face. Me myself, I was shocked. You're a better player than I am. But that was exactly what the queen wanted to hear. I gave it to her. Manuko! Manuko! I'm scared. I'm scared. Did you see the queen's eye? I think she's up to something evil. She cannot do anything. I have told you times without number. Trust me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Onye, nda, onye, nda, ola mao, nda.
ever since I got you from my mother, I have not used you. Because I had no reason to use you. But now, I have every reason to use you. Therefore, I want you to go into the king's chamber and kill that woman, Olama. Now go. 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 <laughs> yes. It's your man. You may just say. You're a wonderful man. I yes. would always thank you. She's the best gift any man can receive. She has everything in the right place. I know you like her. Are you saying I like her? She's a complete woman. My queen, I have come to perform my morning duties. My queen. My queen. My queen. My queen. What happened to the queen? Where is she? She's in her chambers. Well, it has been a beautiful marriage. Really? And you're all ready to go. The guards are gone with her things. And the maidens are here to take her home. But, I have one word of advice for my daughter. Please, we will be back. Okay. My daughter, there is something that I want to give to you. It was given to me by my grandmother the day before I got married. Take it. Mm. I like it. Grandmother, thank you. I'm a nigga like it. Hey, oh my God. <laughs> it is called Obiagebum Bwome. No evil fashioned against you shall prosper. I see. <laughs> now, let me take you back. We are done. Okay. Please, take care of my daughter. No, we do. We do. She's all that I have. No problem, no problem. Oh, Malicha. Oh, no, 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 no,
Oh no, 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 Yeri, 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 wadi mo, yeri agalumo, wena babedi ya o. Your Majesty, you have to take it easy. This is a normal process every true woman must pass through. She should be in the traditional bad place, not in the palace. The Habalis permitted it. If we had insisted on taking her to the bad place, she may not have made it. Baby should be out by now. Easy, my king. The royal family must have a child today. Greetings, my king. Speak. My king, the throne of Omar Basuku now has an heir. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> the cry of a child has been heard in my palace. I now can beat my chest and say I am a father. And I have a successor to the throne. May the gods be praised. He said, the chairman way. Summon the elders. Spread the good news and tell them to come here for merriment this evening. Your Highness, I will do as you just said. Your Majesty. <laughs> May the gods be praised. Heroes <laughs> of my kingdom. Your Your Majesty. Majesty. A great thing has happened. Eat and drink as you desire. 
and her apparent has been born to the throne of King Ndubesi of Omo Basiku Kingdom. He's a great in the hand. <laughs> After many, many years of patiently waiting. Please, go ahead. I am coming with you. Mm. Your Majesty. It is a thing of joy, actually. That is why you are coming here. To just with the royal family. Who <laughs> could <laughs> <laughs> Please. Who is there? Show yourself. Both of you. Let me tell you something. The living and the dead have nothing in common. You're both dead, buried, and forgotten. And so shall it be. Mama, you are evil. But I can assure you that our souls will have no rest till you are exposed and banished from Umobasuku Kingdom for all your atrocities. What I did I did for Mombasuku Kingdom. Now, will you both get out of here? If I go in and come out and I meet you here, I pity you. Oh, take a look. You should have stayed. Don't like our polo. Oh no, my little man, no. I'm dead, but I will not rest until I find vengeance. Vengeance? What vengeance are you talking about? Your grandmother killed me, your mother and the queen, so as to force you into royalty because of her selfish interest. You see, you're not making sense. I don't understand. You're confusing me. I don't understand. I don't... Your Highness, I have been thinking. The coming of these missionaries, we must not for the sake of what we will get from them, mortgage ourselves and be subservient to them. We are a proud people and we must ensure that our kingdom remains intact. You have a point there, Your Majesty. We must be very, very careful. Greetings, Your Highness. Great Dibia of our kingdom. Quite an unexpected visit. To what do we owe this visit? Two Ekemaket days have passed. And your son's umbilical cord is yet to be buried among royalty. Do you understand what she says? Yes. Tradition has it that after two Ekemake days, a male child is born to royalty no more Basilubu. His umbilical cord will be given to a seer to bury among the umbilical cord of the kings that have ruled Umabasiuku. According to history, your own umbilical cord was buried by the then seer. So your own son, Udyoma's umbilical cord, must be buried among the umbilical cord of the kings. Great seer, I now understand. I will meet with the elders in two 
market days, we will ensure that the umbilical cord is buried. Also come with the queen. It will be done. Hmm. You didn't tell me about this part of the culture. Yes. I'm only waiting for the appointed time to tell you. Your father should have told you this. But maybe due to the long stay of your wife, to give birth to a male child, that's why you forget about it. Mm. I can see you are getting used to my blood. Lizzie, you're scaring me. You're scaring me. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. And why do you even keep appearing to me? What do you want? I want the best for my blood. How? In two days' time, the umbilical cord of the boy will be taken to a bank of shrine, where it will be buried amongst the umbilical cord of the other princess that have lived in Omobashu. Why? For blessing and acceptance of the gods. But definitely, the boy has no royal blood, so the gods will reject him. So, Lizzie, what do I do? Tell the king the truth. Or you will incur his wrath. No, 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 no. If I can't tell the king the truth, I can't. I mean, it will be very disastrous on the king and the people of Umo Basioku, you know. It will be more disastrous if the king finds out himself that this boy that he loves so much is not his flesh and blood. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. What? Okechi, your time is near. Girls of Umo Basuku, I have come to bury the umbilical cord of the prince. Let me have the materials for the ritual. According to tradition, when you come to bury an umbilical cord of a holy blood, a digging material and a bottle of oil appear. But the gods have withhold and that simply signifies one thing. What? The child is not a royal blood. I do not believe this. The child is mine. 
This is her grandmother. The news of Allah's pregnancy made a came to kill us all. My mother is a sorceress. She wants to raise another breed of a powerful sorceress. Through the union of the king and Ola. She believes that Ola has the element as well as the king. Secondly, she believes that royalty was deprived of her when King Owakwe, who was betrothed to her, left her and married her good friend, who happens to be the stepmother of the late queen. I am not convinced. This is a conspiracy. The gods are silent on you, and the digging materials have refused to appear. What other reason do you need? The king is being deceived by my mother. She's only using Ola to achieve her evil desires in order to hide the pregnancy and to transfer the child to the king. My mother did not hesitate to kill the only people who knows the true parentage of the child. This is the time for you to do the right thing. Go back to the king and tell the king that the child is not his. Or stay here and inquire of the gods forever without answer. The king must not know of the true parentage of the child. You are evil, Egema. And I've always been that you are up to something mischievous. I do not want to discuss this with you. You will tear this kingdom apart if you let the king know the child's true identity. The king may die of heart attack, and his blood will be on your hands. I don't form alliance with enemy of Umabasuku. Stay away from me. All I must shall give an heir to the king. And I will kill the child to settle the matter. Save the peace of this kingdom by not letting the king know the secret. Great Obanko, what happened? You did not bury Don Blake Accord? The gods are silent. Another date will be chosen and I will tell you, Your Highness. I have spoken to this year and we have an understanding of this. Grandmother, are you sure? You should not be worried. We are now part of royalty and nothing on this earth will take it away from us. You see... So, how is Obioma? I hope you are taking good care of him. Of course. Taking care of him is my sole responsibility and I will not fail at that. Mm? That is good to hear. Hey, ah, Nizian. Okay. What do I offer you? Good question. Now we are royalty. So we need to eat like that. <laughs> if you can give me roasted bush meat. Anunchi to be precise. With a coron was palm wine. And then a little bit of uh, roasted plantain to go with it. <laughs> that would do for a start. <laughs> Wait, let me call one of the maids. Uh, Who is there? Oh, yeah, they bang. So, tell me. What were the qualities that made the late queen outstanding 
among the other queens that have existed in Umo Basuku. The late queen was beautiful, caring and understanding. In addition to that, she knows when the maidens are not happy. Really? Yes, my queen. So what does she do when she finds out that the maids are not happy? She got her own way to make us happy. <laughs> I see. Well, you've known me for some time now. What can you say about me? You're beautiful, caring too. Just that you always keep to yourself, my queen, all the time. The prince is up. Let me go attend to him. You will die. Please, 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 don't kill my baby. Please, don't kill my baby. Please. Give me a single reason why I shouldn't kill this boy and end your grandmother's evil plot. The boy is innocent. The boy is innocent. He knows nothing about my grandmother's plot. Please. No child is innocent of his parents' buildings! Hmm. <laughs> 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 I summon you here because your knowledge speaks of the girl's intelligence. And above all, you are the king's most trusted cabinet member. You will tell the king what I am about to tell you because I know you have a way to bring it to his knowledge. Obioma. Our last son is not a royal blood. Yes. And that was why I couldn't bury his umbilical cord among other royal umbilical cords. I will spare you the details, but I believe you will find a way to bring it to the knowledge of the king without causing problems. Are you sure of what you just told me, Great Divya? I have served the girls in this shrine for more than 35 years. They have never lied to me before. And they will not start lying to me now. Do you allow yourself to be used by your grandmother? Are you aware of the implication of what you have done? Hey, Mabu, I'm sorry. It was all planned by my grandmother. Hey. Is she aware of the rejection of Domlico called by the gods? Yes. She says she has even discussed with uh, Obanku, the great Dibia, that they have agreed to resolve it in a peaceful way. Your grandmother is a liar. She used you for her selfish and evil desires. This is time for you to disassociate yourself from her. How could you allow yourself to be used by your grandmother? Are you aware of the implication of what you have done? It's your mom, I'm sorry. It was all planned by my grandmother. Hey! Is she aware of the rejection of Domlico called by the gods? Yes. She says she has even discussed with uh, Obanko, the great Dibia. That they have agreed to resolve it in a peaceful way. Your grandmother is a liar. 
She used you for her selfish and evil desires. This is time for you to disassociate yourself from her. Ichabu, I'm ready to do anything you ask me to do. Anything you say I will do. But don't let the king know the fatherhood of my son, please. It was time. The king must know why the girls are silent on the day of the burial of Don Blake Card. Hey! It is his customary right. The king must know about the boy or else his ancestors will kill him. Huh? I can only promise I will look for a better way to chip it into his ears. So you will not have any problem. Likewise, the king and the entire Omar as a kingdom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Hi. It will be stupid of me to ask how you manage to know I am passing this road. But what I will not hesitate to ask is why are you here? The king must not know that he's not the true father of that boy. Why? Whoever reveals the secret to the king is an enemy of this kingdom. It will break the king's heart. And it will divide this kingdom. You have already torn this kingdom apart by a sorcery. No! All I have done is protect this kingdom from over a day. The late queen, who was an outcast, became the queen by the help of her stepmother, who was a sorcerer. We all know she was an outcast. But her stepmother compelled and manipulated the king to marry her. And when he did, he shut everyone up. Nobody could say anything. If the late queen had served children with the king, then we would have had an outcast seated as the heir of the throne of Omar Basuka kingdom. All I am trying to do here is to correct the wrong that the king committed. By killing your daughter Oge, the queen, and Eze, the young, hard-working man. You think I do not love my daughter? She was my daughter! It grieves me that I kill her! You think I do not care? And for your information, the queen killed herself. But nobody, absolutely nobody, stands taller than Umar Basuku Kingdom. Whatever you have done, you did for a selfish interest and not for the general good of this land. Now, leave. Leave now. I will leave. But I warn you. Start a battle that you cannot finish. Mm. Mm. The picture is clearer now. A camera has a hidden agenda. If the king and the late queen had produced children, that would have been the end of Ikema. How? When an outcast is converted to a freeborn by sorcery and produces children to the king, they have only but one mission. Which is? To destroy any form of sorcery in the land. Mm. Now I know 
why the queen always have constant miscarriages and couldn't even live to save even one of the children. Yes. Ekema is evil. And I believe her days are numbered in Umo Basirukun kingdom. The gods have been saving this for a day like this. What is it? A tiger's tooth. The canine, to be precise. It is a symbol of destruction by the goddess of anger. I don't know how Ekema got hold of one of the tooth. And I believe she has been using it to perpetrate her evil deed. You will swallow this. It will make you indestructible and untouchable. <laughs> mm. Want the king to swear by his throne that he will listen to my advice after revealing his secret. What is the revelation all about? The revelation is like a mystery unknown to us until we come across it, or it's being revealed to us by others. I swear by my throne. I swear by the ancestors that you must send her away or many to her notice that you are aware that Ujoma is not your marriage person. You shower her with you are, but uh, you have your own true value to yourself. What are you talking about? Udiyama, the son of Allah, is not a royal man. He is not the biological son. Then whose son is he? Your Highness, I then had it that Allah was already pregnant. Before you had carnal knowledge of her, Your Highness, you don't buy a promise. You want me to pretend? The king's word is his word. Keep your promise. And I promise to take her out of this palace immediately after she delivers your interest. I make the promise. I take back the promise. She leaves this palace this minute.
You did an honorable thing by telling the king the truth. Indeed, you are an honorable man. Who are you? And why are you standing in my way? Our identity means nothing to you. Go home and have a good rest. Exactly, do you want to use the royal piece of land for? Oh, Your Highness, I discovered a very powerful breed of medical herbs on that piece of land. These herbs are very, very beneficial to the people of this kingdom. You, you could use it to cure. Things like um, uh, uh, snake bites, infertility, waist pain, arthritis, just name it all. I just want to ensure that these herbs are left to grow very well for the benefit of our people. Your Majesty, remember I told you I needed that same piece of land. As a member of the king's cabinet, I think my request should be looked at first. Malife. Your Majesty. I am a king who believes in equity and fairness. And justice in this case is that a Kemma here presented her own request three weeks ago. 
Yours okay. came just two days ago. But let me ask you, what do you need this piece of land for? Uh, for now, nothing exactly. But as time goes on, I will surely find something to do there. Justice is that, Ekemma. Your Majesty. You have that piece of land. I will apportion another piece of land to you. I have ruled. That is justice. Your Highness. Thank you. Uh, Thank as you, As it pleases you, Majesty. <laughs> Calm down, Your Majesty. We've been through this before, and we'll go through this one. Each year, I share sentiments. I'll be just fine. Greetings, Your Majesty. Sweet. Your Majesty, the Queen has delivered a set of twins. A boy and a girl. I told you that, King. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks be to the gods. A true heir apparent has been born to the throne of Omo Basioku. <laughs> Chair. Your Majesty. We have to move on. At once. Found out what? Don't pretend as if you do not know the evil your hands perpetrated. The king orders you leave Uma Basuku kingdom at sunrise. That is not possible. It's not possible. The king just gave me a vast piece of land to plant herbs and crops. And I have planted enough to take care of the people of Uma Basuku kingdom. Your problem is you think you are a step ahead of everybody in Umo Basuko Kingdom. Mm -hmm. I am here now to tell you that I am steps ahead of you. Mana. Mana. Hey. Hola. your life, but I see redemption right in front of you. There is part of the story I did not tell you. Mama is responsible for the death of your father and his people. Mama's sorcery has eaten deep inside you. Only way to free yourself is to kill her. Kill her and be free. 
now. Go inside. Get the kitchen knife. Make sure you stab her at the back 